Hello, um, welcome to another episode of Across the Desk with Pastor Claudia. Me, yours truly, Pastor Clark, and my wife, Kathy. Hello. Uh, we'd like to welcome you to another podcast. Uh, this is the Christian podcast where I'll be bringing on different pastors from all over the country and uh, locally and nationally pastors and worship leaders and just some of my Christian friends who would get on here and take on various topics and use various scriptures in the Bible and try to elaborate on them and be enlighten some things that we think that are going on in the world today. So stay tuned and sit back and call a friend, call the family, and let them know that Cross the Desert Pastor Clock is on, and tell them to look at look at it and, and get uh, and give us your views about them and tell us what you think about it. Okay, baby. What, what, what okay, are we um, tonight we're going to be studying in Second Timothy, chapter three, verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous times will come. Okay, man, what about flipping over to uh, John 16, verse 33? Let's read that as well. John 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Okay, when well, you go back to uh, uh, 2 Timothy, this... Expound on that just a little, whatever Lord put in your spirit to say to the people. Um, perilous means dangerous and uh, risky times, and that's what kind of times we're living in right now, Pastor. Yes, when you when you look at that word perilous, that what well, that's what it's saying, dangerous and perilous time. Now, and when you look at the, the text, Second uh, Timothy verse three, that's Paul talking to his spiritual son in Timothy. But when you turn over to John. Chapter 16, verse 33, that's Jesus talking to the body of believers, talking to us, the church, that in him we'll find peace, but in the world we'll find trouble. But he said, be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. So we look at what's going on in the place of day. We still, when Paul was telling Timothy about perilous times, we are living in those perilous times today, but we turn over to John, Jesus talking about the same thing. But he say, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. But I mean myself personally. Uh, uh, I found that a lot of a lot of believers, believers ha have seen and forgot about what the word of God says. It seems, and this is me, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but this means seems like they're they're focusing on more of what's happening in the world. You know, and, and, and Jesus say, in the world, you ain't gonna find no peace. You're only, you're only gonna find peace in him. That's true. And so when we, when we pay more attention to what's going on in the world today, where the hot spots at, where, 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 where um, the coronavirus is, is, is spreading and how many people um, um, contracted the coronavirus, how many people died, how many people are living. But guess what? Jesus still saved them. There's people getting saved right here in the midst of right. The coronavirus and, and, and this this paradigm we find ourselves in right now. And it's peace when we find ourselves in the Word of God. We stay in the Word of God, we find peace. But we get away from this and get into TV and, and watch the media when they talk about, you know, um, what's going on. They talk, especially when they talk about them stimulus checks. Mm -hmm. um, I think I we have a lot of friends that are, uh, now I don't mean you shouldn't be cautious, but uh, who are just scared. They're scared. And I don't know any other word to use, but they are scared to death. And a lot of them won't even come out of their house hardly. And um, I think if you sit and watch the media, they have stirred people up so badly. And uh, instead of watching TV and watching all the news, get into the Word here. Get into this Word because out of this you will have peace. There will be no peace in this world. Jesus said there will be no peace in this world. He said... In this world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So that's where our hope and faith and trust should be in Jesus Christ, not this world, because this world is going to be here when we're gone. The believers will be raptured, and, and we will be gone. This world will still be standing here. But uh, we just need to put our, our faith in Jesus. You know, the Word of God tells us that heaven and earth shall pass away. But this word is going to stand forever. And this word is never going to change. And this word is always going to be his word. So 
And and the part about it that I that I have trouble understanding is Jesus said that, that every man be a liar and his word be the truth. But we those of us that call ourselves believers, even I have problems with the time when I find myself getting caught up in the news, not getting to my word, getting caught up in what's going on, I get kind of afraid. And especially talk about those of us who already got diabetes and, and heart, problem. heart problem. I don't have a heart problem, but I am diabetic and I am I do have high blood pressure. You know, I get sort of concerned, but then I have to go back and think about the many situations that the Lord has have brought me through already. And so I had to put my trust and my faith in that to get my mind off of what's going on now. Because everybody you talk to, that, that that's the, everywhere you go now, Walmart, drugstore, everywhere, everybody talking about how bad this pandemic is and they ain't never seen nothing like this before. But then I reminded, you said it earlier, this should have caught us by surprise. No. Believe, I mean, believers should not be caught by surprise because it's all here in the book. I mean, I, it, it can cut a color, maybe cut us off guard because we didn't expect to live through a prophecy, you know, a, a, a prophecy that was given by Timothy and by Jesus. And, you know, and, and to be right here in the midst, to see it unfold, to me, it's a time where I'll be really praising because it's a glorious time that they, they, they live in. It is. It's a very good time to live in because we're getting to see the Bible unfold in front of us. And uh, if, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, this would be a very good time to get to know Him um, because this world will end and um, one day every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's, that's right. If, if it ever been a time you want to question... Whether the Bible is true or not, if, if you read the book and look around you and see what's going on, this it talks about it right here. And this this word was written and came from over two thousand years ago, and it's talking about it right now in the twenty first century. We find ourselves in. So read it. If you ever doubted it before, read it right now, and I'll let you know that man, this thing is real. This thing is real. You know, and, and it's time for us to. Time get to get real, serious, get serious about, about this about whole thing. We never know what tomorrow may bring. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says Jesus and on his second coming will come like a thief in the night. And you know, if someone comes in and robs your house, you don't know it's going to happen. It just happens. And that's how Jesus is going to come back like a thief in the night. And if you're not ready to meet him, then uh, you'll be left behind. So... Uh, Having said these things, um, do you have anything else to add to him? Well, I don't have anything else to add, but what I would, what I would like to say is that Jesus is Lord. Yes. Amen. And if there ever been a time you want to turn to Jesus, my brothers and my sisters and my Facebook family, now is the time. Anything else you want to add? Uh, I think that that says it all. So, we'd like to welcome you again to another episode of Cross the Death with Pastor Clark. Me, Pastor Clark, my wife, Kathy, would come in and give you a short word. We want to always keep something encouraging coming. So, it's short tonight. But I hope that something one of us say encourage you to go on and to stand strong and not walk in fear. Because remember, Jesus didn't give us a spirit of fear. He gave us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. So, have a blessed night. We love you. Cross the Death with Pastor Clark.